I'm John Richards. This is The Morning Show. That was not a surf here on KEXP. And I just mentioned Varzouk just picked up a, a brand new tile for our new home. And when we have our new home, Noah and your band will be able to play and people will see you. Do you think that'll change? You think if you had 50 people staring at you right now, it might be a little different? Or? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> It'd be a good thing, especially in the morning. It'll be, you'll be even more awake. People with their coffee. It'll be very <laughs> exciting. Thanks for bringing in the band and the family today. Absolutely. We're going to talk a little bit more, but if you're ready to, to play some songs for us, I'd love to hear them. Sure. Stone cold broke in the middle of the winter Oh, like a poor man's son Stone cold broke in the middle of the winter Oh, like a poor man but my father is a hard-earned worker My mother has a heart of gold And I was never much younger But I feel twice as old Stone cold broke in the middle of the winter Oh, like a poor man Stone cold broke in the middle of the winter Oh, like a poor man's son But I've got money for food And a little bit of gasoline And i got plenty of time But I want everything Don't need no gold or silver Oh, I only need a few new things Oh, I would buy pearls for my lover Oh Guitar strings Stone cold broke in the middle of the winter Oh, like a poor man Stone cold broke in the middle of the winter Oh, like a poor man's son But I see the cold wind blowing Dark clouds form on the western sky And I feeling like knowing everyone here will someday die Stone cold broke in the middle of the winter Bright stars shining high above Bethlehem town And I hear the chorus of angels singing out loud The sweetest sound Oh brothers, let's go down Let's go down, come on down Oh brothers, let's go down Sisters, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, sisters, let's go down, down in the river to pray. Oh, family, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, family, let's go down. Down in the river to pray
Beautiful. Noel Gunnarsson live here on the morning show. Nice work. Thank you. Down to the river to pray. That was nice. Got another one for us? My guitar doesn't like waking up. <laughs> no one likes waking up early. You got the singing down now. That's the hardest part, I would think. Yeah, I, I can barely talk in the morning. I'm very impressed you can sing as well. Is ice cream the, the key? Yeah. I'm going to tell bands that. That's good. Okay, you're going to want some ice cream before that. Point three KEXP, where the music matters. Noah Gunderson and band here in the studio. Noah, would you be nice enough to uh, introduce the band here as well? Yeah, this is my sister Abby on violin. Good to see Abby. Uh, this is my friend Micah Simler on bass. Good to see you, Mike. Uh, my brother Jonathan on the drums. Another brother. And uh, our friend Andrew Butler on the Good keys. To see you, Andrew. Uh, are there more Gunderson who are not here today? Or there are. Yeah. How many siblings do you have? Uh, there are. How many are there? Eight of you? kids. Oh man! I'm glad I asked. <laughs> eight. Okay. 
Well, and do they all play music? I'm going to guess no. But. Not all of them. A, a couple. There's another another sister who sings, um, who was actually going to try to be here today. But <laughs> our communication as a family is not always on point. I, hey, I don't blame you. My, my wife comes from a family of 14 siblings, so oh, it's uh, communication alone. Yeah. If you can get along with like half... Right. That, you're doing better than most, but I have two siblings. I'm about 50-50 there. You learn how to be in a van with people. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's probably good you can take them on tour. And I assume everybody's going on tour with you because you you do the solo or do you do the band thing? We switch it up. We, uh, Abby and I usually always tour together. Yeah. Um, And then Jonathan has been playing drums with the band more recently. And then um, he has a band called Lorenz with our sister Elizabeth, and uh, I play in that as well. So we all kind of... Uh, kind of ebb and flow out of each other's projects. And don't you have like a, a holiday show you do? Mm-hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, the last like three or four years we've done a holiday show at the Fremont Abbey. That's awesome. Which this year uh, it sold out in like three days, which is crazy. Cool. Um, and we like donate all the money to a charity of our choice. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. We have friends play and we sing holiday songs. Yeah, I was going to ask, what, what, where, where do you go with the holiday songs? Is it traditional? Do you do some of the newer um, stuff? or? Well, like the last two years, we've done more traditional stuff, and then we're trying not to have any overlap, so we're like trying to dig a little bit deeper into the. <laughs> There's only so many. I know there is, <laughs> unless you like go into Britney Spears Christmas <laughs> territory. And who wants to do that? Right. I guess you could rework that. You people, could. People may not even know. I don't know about the ironic <laughs> song thing, though. It, it, yeah. It, there's a limit to that. Have you heard the Sufjan uh, Christmas release? I have. He does? He's so he's so contemporary and great, though. It's like yeah. its own record. I don't feel like it. You can really do it justice. It would, it would, you'd have to wait years, I yeah. think, to go back to it to do right. that. So when so the holiday show is taking place this in year December. in December. Yeah. Um, and tell me about the new record. So the deal too is one of those. Um, where I got the record early, mm-hmm. but so early, can't play it. Right. Which makes sense. <laughs> sure. I totally get it. I've been doing this for years. And we're holding out. Uh, the records come out February. Mm-hmm. February 11th. But we wanted to have you in because it's just such a great record. Thank let you. Let people know about it. You must be psyched to get this out. I am. We've been working on it for two years now. Wow. Um, it's gone through about three revisions. <laughs> uh, we've we've made it twice and scrapped it. And this is the third attempt. So Really? Yeah, <laughs> it's been a long process. Do you go back to the first versions and, and hear, or at least you know them in your head? I try to stay away from the past. Yeah? Uh, when it comes to recording, I, I try to keep my head forward. Um, and ultimately, like, all the revisions we made, I think, uh, made for a better record. Yeah. Um, I don't think the songs lost anything in the process, which I'm grateful for. Were you involved in producing it then? Were you yeah, the final the final version that we laid down at Studio Litho here in Seattle, I, I produced that. Yeah, that's yeah. good, because you can yeah. answer to you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> By the third scrap, you're like, producer Noah, yep. <laughs> you really need to finish this. How do you know? How do you know when you're done? How do you know when it did it just no, or do you still have some, ah. There's a moment you where you have to let go, yeah. for sure, um, especially after, you know, two years. Um, <laughs> and then... Um, there's a trust element. I mean, Abby and I have been performing music together for eight years now, and um, we've kind of figured out what we're good at and what we're not good at, and um, at least at the moment. Yeah. Um, and it's a trust thing. I just know I try to go with my instincts and say, this is done. Yeah. Well, you're growing up with the record, too, then. Right. Yeah, yeah. it's easier to make those decisions sometimes. Right. So I have to ask, too, if you have the all the siblings mm-hmm. and you're playing music, I would assume music was in your home or your mm-hmm. parents played. Yeah. Was that from the get-go in your house? Was it just that's music was a big thing? Yeah, and it was never forced on <laughs> us. I mean, piano lessons were forced on us, <laughs> which I resented for a long time. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was just it was something that we grew up around. There was always music in the house. My dad played. My dad... Um, had a, a Tascam 8-track eight, eight reel-to-reel that oh, nice. he recorded his own songs on really? um, in his little like garage studio. And so I grew up around that, and then um, he taught me how to how to use it. And so when I was 13, I made my own record that's terrible. Do you still have that? Uh, I think it's somewhere. <laughs> if I'm like, if I really want to feel bad about myself, I <laughs> put it on. Well, a lot of people can't go back to when they were 13 and right. recorded a record. So, yeah. you know, just think of it that way. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Could sell copies of it. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we scrapped that record. Yeah, we're going, I'm going back to that. Noah Gunderson, the new album is called Ledges. Again, it's out, I believe, February 11th. Correct. And we want to talk about the release show, too, here yeah, in town. February so, 15th. Neptune. Mm-hmm. Not messing around. Not messing around. Great location. <laughs> Must be counting the days down. And then touring around it. Correct, yeah. How we'll, many? Be, we'll, be doing, we'll be going out for about six weeks. Um, to almost maybe two months um, following the release and then probably 
touring indefinitely for the next year on that record. Wow, nice. Yeah. Is it going to be your tour? Are you going to be with other the people? The first tour will be will be us headlining, um, and we don't have we don't have any support slots lined up yet for the following one, but okay. um, that's kind of the, the plan. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, good luck with it. Thank you. I think a lot of people are going to love this record. And you're playing songs from it, which is great. Noah Gunderson live, and uh, if you've got a couple more, we'd love to hear them.
90.3 KEXP. <clears throat> Excuse me, Noah Gunderson. He live here on the morning show. New album is Ledges, as was that title of that song. And it's coming out in February. And again, uh, make sure you attend the uh, the album release show for Ledges happening Saturday, February 15th in Neptune. And you have your holiday shows coming up, not just in Seattle. We should mention down at Doug Fur down in Portland and right. doing a few around the Northwest. We'll put those up on our real-time playlist at KEXP.org. You got one more for us? Yes, sir. You remind me of cigarettes The way I hold you in my chest Where you kiss me with your filter breath, and I keep thinking and you know. Once you had me, you don't have me anymore. I don't crave you in the morning or at the company store. I don't use you to escape, and my fingers out the door. Once you had me, you don't have me. Honey, you're smooth Honey, you're smooth Honey, you're smooth Honey, you're smooth You don't make me cool. I can carry on
It's 90.3 KEXP and Noah Gunderson live here on The Morning Show. Sounding brilliant this morning. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. I, uh, I'm psyched for the rest of the world to hear this record and uh, to start playing it some more on the show, of course. Sledge is coming out in February, and the big release show is going to be at the Neptune on Saturday, February 15th. Thanks again, all of you guys, for coming in today. Thanks so much. And uh, I want to thank, I'm actually heading out uh, after today for a few days, so just a quick thank you to everybody who helps out on the show. Brennan helping today, and Sean and Julieta and Ken, and Brandon, our dedicated morning show intern, my assistant Mel, Kevin Suggs, and our whole engineering team. We hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. He's very busy here today, though, and I believe tomorrow. Uh, Jim and Scott and Shelley and our whole video team, thank you guys. Our photographers, our programming team, Kevin Cole and Chris Kellogg and everybody. And, of course, the Morning Faithful who support this show and this station. Have a great Thanksgiving. I will see you on Monday, and Cheryl Waters is up next. It's 90.3 KEXP Seattle.